Hello everyone, I'm Jagat. I'm technical specialist at Skilllink, taking care of every domain. So in this short video, I'll take you through the list of projects that one will be doing as part of our PG program that we offer at Chennai Skills. So these are a list of course that's ideally offered as part of this offline embedded program. So there are 12 modules. So in this 12 modules, uh, there are certain set of modules which is aiming to prepare the aspirants for uh, firmware development role and uh, the remaining courses between 8 to 11 courses ideally preparing them for uh, model based design role. So we'll see, uh, I, have, I have curated some of the interesting projects that you would be doing as part of uh, this program. In Embedded C Essential course, there are two projects which is highly interesting. The project one, you will be developing your own library and your own data type called a set and you'll be developing a set of APIs to access or to apply on the data type that which you have created called a set. So this set is nothing but uh, it's derived from the mathematical set theory. So all operations such as uh, union, intersection, so this kind of operations associated with sets can be applied for a list of variables that you are creating with the sets. So the prerequisite that's required for doing this project is a student has to master the linked list implementation first and on the linked list or uh, using linked list he can create his own data type called a set and he can create set of APIs that will ideally help to perform different operations such as union intersection and displaying the element of that list. So this is one interesting project where student will learn how to write modular C code and now to write his own APIs. So the second project is again a new implementation uh, that you would have seen uh, finite state missions or uh, finite state mission based algorithm in state flow if you have worked on state flow or in uh, digital system design. So how do you convert a logic into a finite state uh, missions and if a finite state mission is given to you how do you convert that into a C code. So that's what a student will learn by doing this project. So we have taken a case study of uh, controlling uh, the aircraft landing gear systems with the help of a finite state mission algorithm. So in the next course, which is fundamentals of embedded system, a student would be simulating this idea of uh, exchanging the information between uh, a LCD screen and uh, a typical uh, microcontroller platform through I2C channel. And uh, we'll also have uh, multiple microcontroller where one is behaving as a slave other one is behaving as a master and we will try to exchange the value between uh, the master and the slave and we will display those value in the LCD screen. This is one interesting project where student will come to know about I2C protocol and the LCD screen interfacing. So in uh, the next project they will be using the same set of simulator where implementing a moving average filter for smoothing the data that's coming from a ultrasonic sensor. So this ultrasonic sensor will help to figure out obstacle that's away from the ultrasonic sensor and it, it helps to figure out that distance between the obstacle and uh, the algorithm that you are going to implement as a digital filter which is ideally going to demonstrate how to do or how to reduce the noise that's coming from the sensor mission. So in the next course, the same set of project is implemented using a different simulator, but with a different approach. So here, ideally, you will be writing your own device driver in a bare metal approach for the same target platform. And you will be simulating the same project for a different application where project one is again based on LCD screen interface. Project two is completely based on the rear parking system. So in software verification validation course there are two projects where uh, we'll be using ldra a test suit for uh, uploading a code base and doing a static review analysis uh, for misra 2012 coding standard and we will generate a code review report for uh, cert as well as misra c standard and we will go again change make the enough modification fix the code and uh, make it 100 percent misra c complete so this would be the project one and in project two you'll be doing a dynamic analysis which is ideally a white box testing for the given code base 
and you will be generating 100% coverage by uh, using TB extreme kind of a tool to generate automatic test cases and you will see the regression report using TB test manager. So in uh, device drivers and serial communication protocol, you will be writing a device driver for I2C communication peripheral and uh, you will be seeing the generated data from I2C peripheral to the system with the help of USB logic analyzer. That's project one. In project two, you can able to visualize the CAN frame that's getting generated or you can able to visualize or you can able to write your own driver. You can loop back the value or you can connect two uh, STM boards and you can write a CAN application to verify whether your CAN driver has developed properly. And then as part of uh, introduction to physical modeling using SimScape course, you will be developing a, a technical report about uh, how uh, Alterin vehicle is developed for typical Baga competition. Uh, so you will be simulating a, or building a Baga Alterin vehicle and you will be preparing a detailed case study report on that. So then as a part of project two, you will be doing a physical modeling or the entire EV modeling with the help of Simulink to simulate the performance of a DC motor train. Thank you.